In less than two years since its launch, the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, has revolutionized our understanding of the universe. For scientists, the images it has captured open up new possibilities in astrophysics, while for the rest of us, they are simply stunning to behold. Astronomers worldwide are amazed by a groundbreaking discovery. The JWST has captured distant city-like lights 7 trillion miles away. This discovery surpasses expectations, expanding our cosmic understanding and sparking speculation among scientists studying the data for clues about these celestial beacons. The discovery suggests life beyond Earth, raising questions about extraterrestrial civilizations and the likelihood of life elsewhere. Join us as we unravel how the JWST captured city lights billions of miles away from our planet. Launched on Christmas Day 2021, the JWST aims to be a more advanced and powerful imaging device than the Hubble Space Telescope. Its purpose is to acquire the sharpest pictures of recently identified objects such as planetary systems. Before diving into the latest findings, let's look at the Hubble Space Telescope's role in space exploration. The pioneering Hubble Space Telescope, HST, launched in 1990 and still operational, has transformed astronomy. A joint effort between NASA and ESA, it fulfills a dream from the 1920s made possible by technological advancements by the 1970s. The HST's main mission is to deliver high-resolution cosmic imagery, enabling detailed study of celestial objects and deepening our insights into galactic, stellar, and planetary formation and development. As a Cassegrain Reflector Telescope, the HST achieves the concentration of light from space objects using mirrors. Its primary 2.4-meter, 7.8-feet mirror, along with a smaller secondary mirror, directs light to the focal plane containing instruments for image capturing and data collection. The Hubble is equipped with various devices that support diverse observations of the universe. These include cameras that capture images of space objects, spectrographs that split light into basic colors for analysis, and polarimeters that study light polarization to detect properties of celestial bodies. The Hubble's design also includes astronaut servicing capabilities, allowing for repairs and instrument upgrades. The first servicing mission in 1993 corrected a defect in the primary mirror by attaching corrective optics. A total of five servicing missions have been conducted with the last one in 2009. The Hubble Space Telescope has forever transformed our view of the cosmos, offering breathtaking imagery of celestial objects and making groundbreaking discoveries, including measuring the expansion rate of the universe, discovering dark energy, and observing the birth of stars and galaxies. Hubble's legacy extends beyond its discoveries, propelling innovations in astronomical technologies and inspiring new generations of scientists. The success of telescopes like the JWST builds on Hubble's legacy, promising deeper insights into the cosmos and advancing our knowledge of the universe's history. The JWST Deep Field images aim to examine the most ancient galaxies, pushing the age of the universe to its earliest stages by using the solar system as a tool. The JWST depicts heavenly objects as their ancient ancestors might have seen them. Astronomers use light years, the distance light travels in one year, to specify these unthinkable distances. The JWST's first presentation highlighted this concept by showcasing a deep field image, launched on July 11, 2022, by President Joseph Biden at the White House. This image, similar to the Hubble's deep field images, zoomed in on a tiny patch of sky and classified about 3,000 new objects, mostly distant galaxies billions of light years away. The JWST deep field image, like Hubble's, displays a seemingly unremarkable speck of the night sky. However, within this tiny area near the SMX0723 galaxy cluster, there is a wealth of data to be mined. This colossal cluster, approximately 4.6 billion light years away, acts as a natural magnifying glass due to its immense gravitational force. This phenomenon, known as gravitational lensing, allows astronomers to delve deeper into the past reaching as far as 13.1 billion light-years. The focus on the unknown extends to the search for life beyond Earth. The vast number of distant galaxies unveiled by the JWST has ignited fresh scientific inquiry, particularly regarding a specific set of Earth-sized planets that might hold clues to the existence of extraterrestrial life in our cosmic neighborhood. 
This pursuit addresses the Fermi paradox, which questions the absence of evidence for advanced extraterrestrial life despite the high probability of its existence. One star system of particular interest is TRAPPIST-1, located approximately 40 light years away from Earth. This star system, with seven Earth-sized planets orbiting it, is pivotal in the search for habitable worlds. NASA factors in various parameters, such as size, distance from the host star, and atmospheric composition, to assess a planet's potential to support life. The JWST recently achieved a milestone by measuring the temperature of TRAPPIST-1b, the first detection of light emitted by an exoplanet of its size and temperature range. This breakthrough underscores the telescope's sensitivity and potential to revolutionize our understanding of rocky planet atmospheres. While the JWST explores distant worlds, the Voyager missions continue to astonish scientists closer to home. Launched in 1977, Voyager 1 is now encountering a mysterious region at the edge of our solar system. This unpredicted journey adds another chapter to the great history of the Voyager missions. Initially intended to be short missions, the Voyagers have provided a vast amount of precious data and extended exploration for space science. These findings consistently remind us of the never-ending importance of inquisitiveness and exploration. According to scientists, interstellar space begins where the sun's magnetic field and the solar wind stop. Voyager 1 achieved this milestone in 2012, while Voyager 2, at a distance of 11 billion miles from Earth, entered this region in 2018. Interestingly, new findings from Voyager 1 reveal surprising phenomena at this boundary known as the heliopause. These phenomena include bursts of plasma and high-energy particles, challenging previous assumptions. This realization has led researchers to conclude that the heliopause, far from being a well-defined boundary, is a dynamic, ever-changing region influenced by various factors from both within our solar system and the galaxy beyond. Despite technical difficulties and the harsh realities of space, Voyager 2 continues to yield valuable scientific data, thanks to innovative solutions developed by NASA engineers. This is an ongoing reminder of humanity's enduring desire to venture into the unknown, propelled by curiosity and the quest for knowledge. In our solar system, Venus has also become a topic of renewed interest after previously being dismissed as inhospitable due to its extreme heat. Recent observations by astronomers have reignited scientific curiosity about Venus. The discovery of phosphine gas in Venus's atmosphere, a gas often associated with biological processes, has led scientists to re-examine the planet. Although phosphine is produced by microbes on Earth, scientists are careful to avoid jumping to conclusions, considering other potential sources. The search for life on Venus delves into complex considerations, such as chemical reactions, planetary evolution, and potential alternative biological processes. Venus's history also hints at a more temperate past, possibly hosting liquid water for billions of years, drawing parallels with Earth. This similarity raises intriguing questions about whether life once existed or could still exist in Venus's harsh environment. In contrast to the scorching heat of Venus, the icy surface of Jupiter's moon Europa is also a candidate for harboring life. Its subsurface ocean, hidden beneath a thick layer of ice, raises the possibility of life existing in extreme environments. The immense distance of these background galaxies stretches the light they emit, shifting it from the visible spectrum into the infrared range. This shift allows the JWST, specifically designed to detect infrared light, to observe these ancient galaxies with exceptional clarity. By comparing these observations with visible light images from telescopes like Hubble, astronomers can piece together the grand narrative of galactic evolution. This comparison offers a unique window into how galaxies have transformed from their primitive states billions of years ago into the majestic structures we see today. One particularly impressive aspect of the JWST deep field image is the speed at which it was obtained. Remarkably, the telescope captured this data in mere hours, showcasing its exceptional efficiency in galaxy detection. Furthermore, the magnifying power of gravitational lensing isn't exclusive to galaxy clusters. The JWST also captured a captivating image of two interacting galaxies known as VV191. When light from one galaxy passes through the other, it gets distorted, providing clues about the dust properties of the intervening galaxy. 
This newly discovered data has the potential to unravel novel secrets about the ingredients and evolution of galaxies. The reach of the JWST extends beyond exploring distant galaxies. A recent mystery on the official website suggests a possible sighting of northern lights on a brown dwarf, a celestial body that lies between stars and planets. This finding is surprising because brown dwarfs lack internal fusion processes that power stars and generate auroras. Researchers are working to determine the precise source of energy sustaining these auroras, with some proposing an analogous mechanism to Earth's auroras, where methane emissions interact with the brown dwarf's atmosphere. This research could lead to a new understanding of these mysterious heavenly bodies. Another significant discovery by the JWST is the detection of a supermassive black hole. This massive black hole, 40 million times bigger than our sun, is highly active and devouring its surroundings. Found by Dr. Lucas Ferte and Ian at B University in Israel, the enormity of this black hole suggests its significant impact on its host galaxy's development. Fortunately, this supermassive black hole resides a safe distance away, 12.9 billion light years from our solar system. Despite the immense distance, the JWST can peer through the vast cosmic gulf to reveal its aggressive feeding behavior. The reddish hue detected by the telescope is likely caused by a thick veil of dust surrounding the black hole, blocking most light from escaping. This dusty shroud also conceals the true size of the black hole. However, when the JWST began transmitting its initial data, scientists were particularly excited about three small objects emitting a crimson glow. These objects might be quasar-like entities, supermassive black holes at the centers of galaxies actively devouring matter. The peculiar appearance of these objects, with their luminosity concentrated within a tiny spot, raises questions about their nature. Gravitational lensing, a natural phenomenon where massive objects bend light, provided precise size estimates. Even when compressed by the lensing effect, these black holes make up a staggering 1% of their system's total mass, hinting at their immense size. Similar behavior observed in other early universe supermassive black holes sheds light on their growth and their relationship with their host galaxies. Although many aspects of this interaction remain shrouded in mystery, the JWST findings offer valuable insights. Apart from these groundbreaking discoveries, the JWST has also captured other intriguing phenomena. For instance, an image released by the European Space Agency, ESA, showed a small orange mark resembling a flipped question mark at the base of a picture focused on two young stars forming about 1,470 light years away. Speculations range from distant galaxies to other unidentified factors. Further research is needed to determine the nature of this discovery which could unlock more mysteries of the universe. The focus on the unknown extends to the search for life beyond Earth. The presence of water, essential for life as we know it, combined with energy sources from the moon's geologically active core, creates a compelling case for exploring Europa. Further missions, like the upcoming Europa Clipper, aim to investigate the moon's icy crust, search for signs of life, and understand its potential habitability. Beyond our solar system, the JWST's exploration of exoplanets offers new opportunities to search for habitable worlds. One such exoplanet, K2-18b, located in the habitable zone of its star, has shown promising signs of potential habitability. The detection of gases such as methane and water vapor in its atmosphere raises intriguing possibilities. While not definitive evidence of life, these gases indicate the presence of processes that could support life. The diversity of exoplanetary environments, from gas giants to rocky worlds, underscores the importance of continued exploration and observation. The search for life and the comprehension of life's commonality within the cosmos drive ongoing exploration and scientific curiosity. Investigating celestial bodies like Venus and distant exoplanets deepens our understanding of the universe and offers glimpses into our planet's history and future. The combined efforts of telescopes like the JWST and missions like Voyager and Europa Clipper exemplify humanity's relentless pursuit of knowledge, expanding the horizons of our cosmic understanding.